Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and we have the geometry problem that you will get wrong. The problem is this. A right triangle has a hypotenuse equal to 10, and an altitude to the hypotenuse equal to 6. What is the area of the triangle? I want you to pause this video right here and see if you can get this answer. Let's go solve this problem. Now, I like to draw a picture, like most geometry problems. So we have a right triangle here, pretty easy to kind of go off of, okay? They tell us it has a hypotenuse of 10, and we have an altitude that connects it here, perpendicular, why not? And we have a six there, okay? Well, the area of a triangle is area equals one half base times height, not too bad. So we can rotate this triangle actually, put the hypotenuse on the base here, as the base, and we have the triangle, the right triangle here, altitude here is 6, 10, and this is a pretty easy problem. Area of this triangle is equal to 1 half base is 10, height is 6. And that comes out to be a 30. Was that the answer that you got here? Well, if that was the case, you got it wrong. 30 is not the area of the triangle, okay? So there's an issue with this problem right here. And what we want to do is redraw this triangle here, and we want to see what's the actual largest altitude of a triangle that has a base of 10, or a hypotenuse of 10, really. So let's go look at that here. So what I'm going to do is draw the triangle again, get a visual here, hypotenuse of 10, and we're going to put make that the diameter of a circle, and you'll see why in a second. All right, now don't draw my pokeball circle here isn't the best, it's more of an oval, but it will do for the example. Our altitude is going to be perpendicular, perpendicular to this hypotenuse, and we create a triangle from there. Now one thing about this hypotenuse length is, and the right triangle stuff we're going on here, the altitude, that right angle that's created right here, to create that right angle uh, for the right part of the triangle going around with that altitude, it will always have to follow the line of the circle here, okay? So with that being said, since it's a right angle, everything adds up right to uh, inside of a triangle to 180 degrees, these two, this is 90, these two have to add up to be 180, follows a circle. Anyway, so what we wanna do here, this diameter is the hypotenuse, figure out what is the maximum height that the altitude can be. So if we draw the circle again, get a better visual here, we have the hypotenuse, which is 10 here. The altitude that makes it the largest will be right at the peak of that circle, okay? That comes down, we create the right angle here, if it's a better circle, right there. Well, if the diameter of the circle is 10, the radius is equal to five. And the radius here is equal to this altitude, r and the altitude, and that's equal to five. So our altitude is equal to a radius, which is equal to 5, is the largest altitude that we can have with this problem. So our problem from the beginning was flawed. We can't actually get an answer because, well, the altitude being 6 does not exist. So if you had any answer, really, your answer was wrong. And the real answer is, this problem is impossible. I hope you liked this video and you learned something here about geometry and just had some fun. If you did, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share this video with your friends and let them know that math can be fun too. So, as always, thanks for watching.